Hello and welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today we will be learning the export which is the sixth step in the process. So let's learn this. So you have seen the entire process. You have learned about taxonomy. You have learned about digitizing the document classification. You have extracted the data machine learning extra, uh, extractor and you have used the form based extractor and you have extracted the data. You have validated the data. Now the sixth option which is the export right you have to export the data everything has been done all you need to do is export and check right you need to export the data to do certain things so how to export the data let's check that so let's go back to the studio so on the previous video you have seen all this process form based extractor machine learning extractor and then present validation station all this you have checked pretty well now uh the next step which is exporting the data right so for that i'll be using all you do just type document and scroll down and for export you would find something export extraction results okay this is the activity which you're supposed to use all right now the validated output is stored in this particular variable called validated extraction results so let's use that all right now for the output which is going to store as a data set variable so let me create a variable you can create control plus k data set variable i am going to store it now if you check this variable type it's a data set type system dot data dot data set all right now i wanted to see those outputs okay so to see this outputs what i will do i'll use a for each loop reason being there will be multiple data right it's a kind of a uh, it'll have tabular data it'll have all the details of uh, the output so what i'm going to do i'll use the data set okay data set dot if you put dot you will find something called tables so what is your understanding data set is just not the data table so we know about data table so it's not just data table data set could contain lot more information right lot of more information that could uh, it could contain like for example uh, all the details that it has got uh, number of pages it has got right all document type what kind of a document type you have you are dealing with there will be lot many output inside this so i i am interested only with the table so that i can see the output data that i need so i'm going to make it as data set dot tables and then here in the type argument i will select system dot data dot data tables clear once you do this there is an activity for for the output to see the data table output so we'll do lot many exercises you'll be very very clear but for the moment as you are beginning to understand document understanding so this is easy for you to show it in a very simpler way so output data table and here i am going to create so the input for this is item right so i will say item and then the output for this i want to write in a text variable so i will say text control plus k let me create a variable text output all right now this text output i want to see probably i can use a message box because it is a text output right so let me use a message box and simply say text text output variable okay so with this i'll be able to see the output now let's check uh, what is the data that we have given here we have given the receipt okay so if i look at the receipt uh, let me open it so this was the receipt so here i wanted to find the bill number and the amount there are two fields that have created in the taxonomy so let's see if the output is coming properly so let's go here save it and let's debug let's run through debug so we know each step how it is going okay started taxonomy loaded it's using the omni page ocr for the receipt so wherever it's an image right or a scanned document it's not in digital format the ocr engine helps a lot 
now it is into keyword classifier and it is able to identify it as a receipt very good now data extraction it is going into machine learning <coughs> okay so 70 percent 70 percent for the document type that's fine bill number let's verify so it's able to find the bill number pretty well uh, bill amount it's able to find the bill amount which is pretty good so i'm saving it as yes all good now it's going to export it and now you can see bill number and the bill amount both has been come as a output right so with this with this uh, last step you must understand that we have already gone through all the required steps. Now train. So the tra the last, the seventh step, train. So that is that you have to train the classifiers. For example, you have the keyword classifier. Sometimes it is not able to recognize. Then you have to train it. You have to put more keywords. Let's say it's not able to identify the receipts or it's not able to identify the invoice, right? So you have to put little more keywords. So that is called you are training the classifier. And also you have to train the machine learning extractor or the form based extractor. You have to work on those things in case it's not able to, you know, pull the right data for you. So you can always edit and train them. So while you are doing the similar document, sometimes it might fail. Okay. It, it might not be able to extract the data, even though it's from the same vendor, but again, it may fail at certain point. So if that happens, you always have an option to go back and train it. So that is a, that is a step where you will be training the extractors various extract extractors that you have used in your workflow and the classifiers that you have used in your workflow so those things you need to train it train in the sense you have to go and check validate and improvise what you have already done all right so that is the seventh step with this we conclude the document understanding process now you got an understanding of all of it taxonomy digitization classification extraction validation export train so all of the meaning you have understood also you have gone through little bit of examples to understand how these things work and you know all the activities responsible for each of this stage works right so now we are going to work on more advanced things we will start doing everything as a project we will try to build a small mini project and try to extract certain invoices we'll try to extract group of receipts and see if we are able to apply the framework that we have learned and we have understood the concept now we will see the application knowledge are we able to apply that and extract the data that we need okay and how the application has to be done that is something is going to come in the upcoming videos so thank you so much for watching um, and uh, with this we are concluding entire conceptual knowledge now we will work on the practical knowledge and try to do some practicals on document understanding so thank you so much for watching please do complete the question series which is going to come next please do answer those questions and test your knowledge thank you so much we'll meet again in our next video bye bye